as you get into the quality section, you're working your way towards the meat of the stock analyzer. This is where a lot of the details come in. The quality section is made up of several different models. These aren't just ratios, simple ratios. These are models created by professors and it's been proven to look and dive deeply into the company to determine how it's doing fundamentally, operationally, and financially. The very first section that you will see is the accrual analysis. You want to see what the earnings are made up of a company, how it's being backlogged, and this section will show you that. There's a deep discussion uh, provided in the links here, as well as a brief overview of how this model works. You've got the color coding here, explanation, so that you can see, be able to read these numbers and be able to understand it. And as you do more stocks, you'll get better at visually understanding how this all relates to your company. The numbers, it's not just, I don't like to just throw numbers out there. Although, although it's important to keep things simple, there's a fine balance between getting things simple and, you know, just pretty to look at as opposed to actually getting it to the point where it's fundamentally useful. One example that I always like to bring up is Einstein. You know, he's the epitome of simplicity. Einstein was able to condense something as complex as theory of relativity into something as simple as E equals MC squared. But the thing is, he didn't dumb it down to say something like E equals MC. He got to a point where, okay, this is as simple as it gets, but it's also providing as much information as required. And that's the philosophy and mentality that I always try to do and use when I create these spreadsheets. I don't just want to throw off a number, say for example here, a red number of 25.6 and say this is a cash flow accrual ratio. Really, it means nothing for somebody who's either uh, n new to this model or somebody who's you know just getting into analysis. Even for experienced investors, a lot of the times there's so much to remember that people aren't going to be able to understand everything by just looking at a number. That is why for every model you have a detailed breakdown of how these numbers come about. The spreadsheet form allows you to trace what the formula is made up of, what the numbers consist of, and it's going to only help you make a better and informed decision. The Piotrowski score is something that a lot of people use and it's a great fundamental accounting uh, model to look at the quality of a company. I won't get into every detail but there's always instructions and an overview that you can go through. The Altman Z is always included. I always like to look at it because it gives you a good idea of how the company uh, is doing financially. There's been a lot of talk how the Altman Z is now outdated, but really if you dive deep into this model, you can actually use it in other ways. Instead of just relying on a number like I mentioned above, uh, one single number to determine whether this company is financially safe or not, you can actually look at the ratios, for example, in the Altman Z. It's made up of all these different ratios. If you look at it one by one, you can get deep insight into the quality of the company. And that's why this whole section, this whole model is included. The Benaish M score, use it a lot like the Altman Z. First, quick cursory glance, you can look at the numbers and then you can use it to filter a company, um, throw the company in or out or whatever. But also look at the ratios and just 
get into the habit, get into the mode of knowing what these numbers mean, knowing what these deeper, second tier numbers represent. The DuPont analysis, this is going to save you a lot of time because a lot of experts and a lot of blogs and uh, research papers, they're going to quote return on equity a lot of the times. But in all honesty, most of them don't even know what it really is. Using this analysis, it was created by the du DuPont company. That's why it's called DuPont analysis. It breaks down the ROE into several different sections. So there's a three-step version and there's a five-step version that's detailed here in these sections. So while the return on equity in the three-step version, you can see these numbers and these are at face value what everybody else is going to see. But take it one step further. It tells you whether net profit margin, asset turnover, or an equity multiplier is affecting the ROE and it gives you an idea. It, it takes you in deep into the ROE itself. And by just doing this alone, instead of having to, you know, manually calculate it, you know, um, performing all these other calculations in order to try and determine quality and fundamental, um, fundamental quality, you're going to be ending up saving a lot of time just because you can go through all these numbers at a quick glance. So to sum up, the quality section is made up of five different models. The objective here is to show you very quickly how the company is fundamentally and give certain metrics and give you an idea of how it's operating. For more details, I've provided links, so be sure to look at it. You can always follow up uh, on my blog for further reading. And I do hope that you make use of this. Thanks. Thanks for watching that video. Now click on that red subscribe button so that you get more tutorials and value investing stock analysis. And if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to the blog. I'll also throw in some free set of investing spreadsheets so that you can use it to value and analyze stocks. And finally, you can go to the YouTube channel now and view the other video tutorials that I have up. I hope you find it useful and hope to see you around.